Hi guys, this is uh, Henry Pim coming to you with another review. And I want to start off with my most recent acquisition. Uh, I didn't have any Hulk comics apart from a couple of trades um, around the uh, World War Hulk and Planet Hulk. Um, but I wanted to, you know, get an 80s and 90s Hulk run. Because as a kid, I never read the Hulk. Can you believe that? I have all the comics in the world, but I never owned a Hulk comic uh, until recently when I bought a few trades. So I wanted to change that, and I bought a whole long box full of Hulk comics, about 300 or 350 comics worth. And I'm really happy, and I'm going to you know start reading this pretty much pretty soon. Uh, but that's not the reason for me. Um, Telling you about the box, my reason uh, for telling you about the box is because I bought or recently got something. Let me just walk over here. And this is a statue that I have owned for a couple of weeks now. It's a maestro. And I can tell you from the, from the start, this is my new favorite piece. As in my favorite piece ever. And you can see, maybe you can see why from the get-go. If not, I'll tell you and I'll help you realize why this is the best piece out there. Uh, this is a Randy Bowen sculpt. And when it comes to Hulks, Randy Bowen does them like no one else can. I also own the Planet Hulk. Also Randy Bowen sculpt. But I believe that this one is the best and Planet Hulk is probably the second best. But man, look at that. Look at the level of detail. In the back there, uh, you can see the Incredible Hulk Future Imperfect storyline. It's a trade. Um, people have been telling me about the story and telling me to get it and telling me to get the statue. A guy in a local forum here in Holland, uh, he told me to read the story and it told me I would be blown away. And he was right. Uh, two things. Peter David, George Perez. I mean, could it be even, could it be more awesome? I mean, come on. George Perez is a legend. And I'm a fan of, I'm a huge fan of George Perez. I own a, a signed uh, 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 drawing by him, which I'll cherish forever. Um, he was influential for the Avengers, very influential for me, because I started picking up the Avengers as a kid, known as the Vergelders in Holland. It used to translate the hell out of things. I mean, they translated the comic books themselves, translated names. Uh, Spider-Man was actually called Spiderman for a while, which is just an insane name. It's just ridiculous when you think of it. Uh, even if you're Dutch, you're, you know, um, you were still going to find it ridiculous. That's, that's basically how it, how it is. But, you know, one thing that always translates well is art. I mean, it doesn't matter which language you're talking about. Art always translates, translates very well. And George Perez has this level of detail in his work that is unparalleled. And uh, Peter David knew about that, so he combined his storytelling with George Perez's art and the result is a very very, very unique story about I would I don't want to spoil too much but uh, it's basically uh, the 90s Hulk you know with the, with the, more of the intellect of Bruce Banner um, being uh, um, transported to the future uh, to battle his possible future self and I'm saying possible because this is a parallel universe we're talking about where the maestro has gone insane or the Hulk has gone insane and is a very vengeful um, rapist and murderer and not very nice things. So all in all, this is a bad guy. I mean, the maestro is not a good guy. Let's just put it, you know, let's just make it clear. And the reason that on a base here, and I want to show you the base, I'll just turn it around for you. The base is littered with all these well-known um, artifacts or um, items. It's because he basically killed all of the superheroes. 
in the comic, you can see that Rick Jones uh, has built some kind of memorial to all the fallen heroes. And, uh, yeah, Maestro's been on a rampage. I mean, uh, on the base, let me just try to zoom in here. I I'm not familiar with all the pieces, but I'll try to name them as, as I see them. Not sure whose ray gun this is, but I'm guessing that's Doctor Doom. Uh, this is Thor's hammer, of course. Iron Man's Hulk, uh, Iron Man's uh, helmet. Um, not sure what this is. Uh, here you can see his sword, which might be well. It's not a black sword, so it's not the Black Knight. It might be Valkyrie. Um, here you can see Wolverine's skull, which is of course indestructible. You can see uh, Daredevil's cowl. And uh, there you can see Dr. Doom's uh, mask. And of course, how can I forget Captain America's shield, which is amazing. I mean, I love the detail on the shield. I even think that the shield on this base is better than the shield that my Captain America by Bowen has. So how amazing is that? And the battle damage on it is just awesome. But also, looking at the statue itself, the statue itself, I mean, the, 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 the creature, you know, Maestro has um, been in a fight. This is probably after a fight uh, with Hulk. Because in the comic, you know, he used to wear, wear a robe or, you know, kind of, that kind of attire. Uh, but this is, you know, battle damage, actually, because, you know, his, his boots are torn, his pants are torn. He doesn't have his shirt or his robe on. But he's still very recognizable. And if you look at the face, you can see the anger and also the arrogant kind of look. And that's what Randy Bowen kept really well because Marshall is one arrogant son of a bitch. I mean, he, he thinks that everyone is lesser than he is. He even thinks so of his younger self, you know. He, he taunts him. Uh, he tells him that. And, and he's basically right. I mean, he tells him that all you're going, going to do to try and stop me I have already thought of like 20 or 30 years ago, um, or maybe even longer because it's about 80 years in the future, I believe. Uh, so that explains the gray beard, uh, uh, by the way. Um, the, the Hulk has, uh, you know, the kind of decelerated aging process. Um, so he does get older, but he doesn't age as fast as you know, normal humans do. Um, but this is just amazing. I mean, the level of detail on it, I mean, the, the waist belt. The, the, I love the color green, by the way, on this, on this, on this statue because it's uh, it, it makes him look older. I'm not sure why, but it has this effect. I put him next to a couple of other Hulk statues I have, and uh, you can see that this is a more you know darker kind of color. And I love the fact that they played around with that because it does work. And the uh, spots or the, um, the pimples or whatever, you know. Uh, Usually associated with older people, you know, like liver spots or something like that. And the fact that it, you know, they took the time to add that is amazing. Uh, I love the necklace on this piece. I love the beard. I mean, it's just so amazing. The teeth on this piece, the, the, the hair, the detail, the level of detail in the hair. I mean, it looks like each hair has been individually sculpted. Which makes it look, it look just amazing. I can't even say, and I'll be very honest with this, and I'm a big George Perez fan, but I think that the way that Randy Bowen did it, it's probably better than the way that George Perez drew it in a comic. And I know for some people that might be blasphemy, for me even, but I have to be very honest, I'm so, so very happy with this piece, and I'm so super impressed with this piece. I've owned it for a couple of weeks, but this is still a statue I can look at every day. And, uh... It's just amazing. The, the muscles on this guy are amazing as well because it's very hard to, to, you know, to sculpt the guy, but it's even harder to sculpt the guy that's, that has aged a bit. And they've done so well with this. I mean, when I go to the gym and I go to the gym regularly and I look at you know, older guys that are muscled, that are still in good shape, you know, I work out every day, you, you can see a certain you know, definition with the muscles that younger guys you know, don't have. And Randy's really studied that kind of anatomy, that kind of muscle definition with older guys. And he's done a very good job. Without making him look pudgy or, you know, out of shape, 
I mean, he still looks like he could, you know, beat the hell out of anybody, which he's done already. I mean, the future in perfect storyline, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Go and read it if you haven't read it. It's a must read. But in the end, let's just put it this way. Nobody can stop the Incredible Hulk. And that's just, a, you know, a conclusion I can give away without spoiling it. But go read it. Go and fucking read it. I mean, don't doubt it. Get the book. It's not, you know, it's it's not an expensive book. I bought mine for about, you know, 10 bucks or whatever. Um, I'm going to read that book probably again in the future because it's, that's, you know, such, such a good book. The level of detail in the art, the story itself, amazing, amazing. Um, I'm very happy with this piece. I, I really needed to, you know, track down a statue once I got wind of its existence. I bought the comic book before I bought, you know, read the, uh, read the statue because I have two rules. First rule being that I only collect one statue per character. A rule that I broke, somebody pointed out to me, <laughs> uh, a rule that I broke because the Hulk has just so many incredible statues that were made by, by Bowen. Uh, I own three Hulks now, even, actually four, but I'm selling one. Um, but yeah, I, I, my second rule is that I only want to collect you know, statues of characters that I actually have a comic book by, uh, of. And it might sound geeky or nerdy or whatever, but, you know, it's just the way I am. And it's just a very particular kind of trait that I have, and which helps me not to go overboard with collecting. Uh, well, over more overboard than I have because I've already gone overboard. Um, but, yeah, you know, it, it, it's, it's what, you know, makes it more interesting for me. I want to know about the character that I collect. I, just, I don't want to buy a statue and just have it. I want to know about the character. I want to know about the you know psychology and the story and the backstory. But all in all, um, paint job is a ten. Sculpt a ten. What would I change about this piece? Not a thing. I couldn't even think of a thing to change. My mind doesn't even go that far. I mean, wow! You'd have to be a freaking genius to think of something to change about this piece. So, Mr. Bowen. I salute you. This is a perfect 10. If you keep on producing statues like this one, you know, your contract gets renewed, and I'm praying it does get renewed, I will keep on buying Bowen until I'm dumb, deaf, and blind, or whatever. Uh, so, guys, I'd like to know what you feel and what you think about the statue. Please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. You know, subscribe and get me to 100. You know, that's my, that's my goal. I'm going to put up a sale video uh, pretty soon because I'm selling off some statues and those are going to be some very interesting pieces for a lot of guys. Um, you know, even I, I'm, I'm shipping worldwide, but I'll tell you about that in my next fit. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Boom.